Hey there, so let's say that you have this design that you wanna go ahead and cut with your Cricut. Well, how would you go about doing that? If your first instinct is to just go ahead and upload it into Design Space, let me show you why you could save so much time using Inkscape. So I'll show you when you go ahead and just upload it into Design Space here, we'll open it up and we'll hit continue. And then first of all, you have to remove the background, which is already a pain. So you have to click on that. And not only that, because that's pretty easy, it's just one click, but you'll also notice if I preview here, all of the holes within the pumpkin and the ghost and the letters need to be clicked as well in order for it to cut correctly. So this is already time consuming and a real pain, right? But once you go ahead and do that, I'm not gonna do it all just because it is so time consuming, but let's just go ahead and hit apply and continue and save it as a single layer because I'm just wanting to cut it. And we'll go ahead and continue and upload. So once we have it uploaded, now you're already super limited by the ways that you can use it because let's say that we wanted to go ahead and cut the ghost out of white. Well, a lot of people would say you duplicate and then you go ahead and contour and you just isolate out the ghost and make sure it's all the way that you want it and hit apply. And then you have to contour it out here to remove it. And this, I'm not saying that this doesn't work, but it's super time consuming, right? but let me just show you how easy it is to do both of those things within Inkscape. So Inkscape's a totally free program. We'll go ahead and take that same image here and just bring it into Inkscape. Just select your image, come up to Path, Trace Bitmap. Since it's a nice plain black and white SVG, we can just leave all these settings as is and hit Apply. The trace goes right on top, so you just pull it off and then delete the original image. And now this is an SVG that will upload extremely smoothly into Design Space. And I'm not done here. You can also go up and do Path, Split Path. And now all of these pieces are separate, so you can edit them separately. So I could change this to white if I wanted. I could change this to orange. You have full control over your design now. And I'll show you just how easy it uploads. So we'll just save it as trick or treat and put it on my desktop. And then we'll come back into design space. And let's go ahead and upload and browse. And we'll find that design and open it up. Continue, continue and upload. And now we have this version here, but this one we can just simply go ahead and ungroup it. And we have all the pieces that we can edit separately. And we didn't have to mess with any of that background removal. So people think that design space is easier, but in fact, Inkscape can save you a ton of time. And if you're intimidated by Inkscape, we have a full course that walks you through all of the essential steps so that you can not only edit SVGs, but you can customize them, create your own. Truly, the sky's the limit. So hope that was a real eye opener and we'll see you next time.